Man, it is so awesome to be able to uh, do a live demo and have it not crash. Whew. See if that continues throughout the day. We might have another demo later with this other server. So I told you earlier you're gonna hear about a bunch of different use cases. This first one we're gonna hear from is about enterprise big data. And we've got from Banco Santander, which is an uh, awesome bank that's all over the world and headquartered here in Spain. Juan Antonio de la Fuente from Podobon and Luis Enriquez from Santander Group. Come on out. So hello, good morning, welcome to Barcelona. So first of all, I'd like to thank to the organization for this great event and to let us share our experience with the community. Uh, we are going to try to give you during the next nine minutes a brief overview about what we are doing on the OpenStack and big data space. Uh, to put you in context, I would like to provide some insight about who we are and what we do. Uh, so as a company, our mission is try to be uh, the best bank to our customers, our people, our shareholders, and the community. And it means try to be the best place to work uh, for our near mm, 200,000 employees. It means providing relevant and personalized products and services to our customers, more than 121 million, providing value to our shareholders, and have a strong focus on the community. We have a very strong relationship with the education institutions and the university. We operate across the globe, in Europe and America, both as a Santander Bank and Santander Consumer Finance. For, from the IT point of view, we have uh, best-in-class data centers. We have tier four data centers in four locations uh, that allows us to provide service to 16 million of digital customers and allow us to uh, process workloads for more than 122 million transactions in uh, last year. Um, we organize across different uh, companies inside the group, the corporation, the countries, and then uh, we have some companies that are specialized in different fields. So for instance, Produban is responsible for the IT operations and the infrastructure, and they are leading the cloud adoption and deployment. So now in the banking industry, we are facing hard times. It's challenging because of low margins are putting pressure on profitability. Uh, the customer are demanding more and more. Are their expectations are higher every day. And also we have a lot of uh, pressure and competition from new entrants and shadow banking. So we need to do different things, and it means and no surprise here, to, be, uh, to do things quicker, better, and cheaper. Um, and that's, I think, the, the good part for, for us as uh, engineering and IT professionals, that we are, if not the solution, at least a relevant part of the solution. So technology is the key uh, enabler to, to change and, and to do the things and to succeed in, in this hyper-competitive environment. So cloud, big data, APIs, mobile, those technology trends are behind our transformation, our digital journey, and all of them are powered by the cloud, are by OpenStack. So now it's time to my colleague Juan Antonio to get into the big data theme. Thank you very much, Luis. We started our journey to cloud in 2014 based on four foundational principles, automation and cloud-first applications to develop cloud-aware applications, decoupling function, uh, business functions from technical services, and building APIs to automate the consumption internally and by external third parties. With a hybrid cloud approach, workloads to be ready to run in our private, but also in the public cloud. A secure multi-tenant environment is a must in our design. And we have a special focus as well in on reducing costs using commodity infrastructure. We have big data and real-time analytics on top of our cloud, creating new and innovative use cases to enable competitive differentiation through the management of data at a higher speed, with more volume, and with more variety of data. 
and using open source first, using open source frameworks and tools, and giving back to the community directly or through partners to help them to improve and evolve the technologies. And we decided uh, to run OpenStack as a technology enabler in our, in our private cloud. First, to understand and to learn about the cloud technology. Then, to develop self-service capabilities to provision networking, compute, and storage resources on-premises. And to migrate specific workloads, like the big data ones, to our OpenStack cloud. And we are doing this in a large deployment in eight regions across uh, all of our corporate data centers uh, in the globe with more than 1,000 compute nodes running OpenStack in a couple of configurations, hyperconvergence, and with local storage resources to provide enough performance to the big data workloads running on OpenStack. There was a good engineering work to adapt uh, our OpenStack cloud to run the big data workloads. That was an important effort uh, from our engineering team. And we get that. Uh, our environments were one, if not the first, Cloudera-certified environments uh, running on OpenStack Cloud. We have Cloudera distribution uh, in our big data analytic and real-time analytics scenarios. We are analyzing almost two petabytes of information in the different data lakes that we have. We use cases that go from risk management, 360 customer intimate experience and knowledge, and operational excellence. At the time, we started out big data projects. Uh, Sahara was not ready to, to be integrated with Cloudera. So we, what we have is automated the provision of the infrastructure part, and the integration with the big data management tools is something that we are uh, analyzing for the near future. And I would like to also to mention that we've been recognized for our work in this area. Yesterday, colleagues of us received the Data Science Awards Spain 2016 in recognition for our big data corporate strategy. Another one. Thank you. I don't want to miss the opportunity of sharing with you uh, some thoughts uh, about two projects that we consider that are key in accelerating the cloud adoption. Those are Neutron and Trove. What we think it is in those projects, uh, the community uh, uh, should uh, give more support uh, to develop and to drive the API integration, because there are uh, additional features that are uh, provided by third-party third party implementations. We are using some of them, and we are happy uh, using them. But we would like uh, uh, Neutron and Trove take the control and the lead of, of the development of the API integration, and not the other way around. And also, I would like to remark that a special focus should be given to create production-ready capabilities to accelerate the cloud adoption, like high availability, disaster recovery, advanced monitoring. So we think those three uh, aspects would accelerate the cloud adoption. Thank you very much for your attention. And thanks to the summit organization Max. for giving us the opportunity to share with you our experience. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the summit. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Thank you, very you, much. you mentioned that uh, open source first is a big part of your strategy. I, yep. I happen to think that's a good idea. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Like, why is open source uh, critical to making your strategy work? Well, because it's uh, something that allows us uh, uh, to uh, contribute and to orient uh, uh, the way that we want uh, the technology to evolve. And, and uh, we can have some collaborations with third parties or directly to the community uh, uh, to uh, request for some efforts and changes uh, that drive uh, the technology to the way uh, we want to consume it. 
Great. Well, I promise you that the community here is going to help you out this week. And uh, so welcome to your first summit. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Bye.